say drawing for me is uh, a lot easier than talking. <laughs> um, or, you know, sometimes I feel like I have ideas that I can articulate the best through drawing and I think you need to get your message across the best way you possibly can. If everyone sort of um, does that, then it is one way to change the world, for sure. My name is Steph Hughes and I am an illustrator and um, a few other things. <laughs> Look, yummy. I started drawing before I can remember it being a conscious decision to draw. I think I just kind of kept doing it. Slowly it, it has become something that I, you know, spend nearly every day on. Something that when you sit down, you forget that you're hungry and stuff like that because you just love doing what you're doing. I've always felt as excited about making gig posters as I have about playing the gig that my band has been playing. That's what's kept me doing it, you know, gig after gig. And that's actually how other people got to see my pictures. And that's how I ended up making lots of other work for other people. It's really cool just to spend a bunch of time every day drawing without a plan. Um, I try to do that every day, have maybe 20 minutes where I don't have a, I don't have a job to do, I don't have a lead, I just start and see what happens and some of my favourite drawings I've ever done come out of that process, just continuously drawing. from Oxfam was really exciting to get. I got a call from Oxfam just saying, you know, we've got these six goals to change the world. We'd love them to be illustrated in a way that you think would be fun. There's gonna be six posters, all individually with one of the goals on them. And uh, go from there, which is, was overwhelmingly fun for me to work out. We sat down and um, sort of boiled it into the smallest amount of words it could possibly sort of say and get the message across really strongly. In every six goals to change the world, we had an individual goal that we had to get across to the viewer. So through, I think, the discussions with Oxfam and, and really just spending a lot of time in working out the symbols and the layouts and stuff like that, that's where I had a bit of a, a flash of of this layout that we've ended up with, with the posters. Their eyes can dart around the page a bit and every different corner will say something a little bit different and there's a bit of a story going on. After I'd done the ink sketches of it, I moved it onto the computer to kind of clean it up a bunch. Also add some temporary colour, just to see how that was going to work as well. I think the key to making artwork is just to be consistent. Just not be too put off by not doing something perfectly. Those mistakes and little bits and pieces of hand-drawn line is actually what people look for. You never really know, I don't know, if you just try to sort of do it every day, you might come up with something that you actually like over time. I'm hoping the reactions I get from the posters from the students and everyone is that they put them up on their fridges at home and you can put them up on your wall and they last forever and that message always remains in your eyes. It feels so good that my posters are part of a long line of Oxfam pictures because yeah, I've, I've seen them as I've grown up. It's really humbling, it's really, it's really lovely that I got to add to that, yeah, that amazing spread of, spread of pictures. So, yeah, thanks for having me. 